Terror in the Tropics. Hi guys, my name is Richard, and today I'm going to tell you about this story called Terror in the Tropics. So let's start. Well, if you know what a rainforest is and all about it, yeah, then go away from this video. But still, if you don't know any of it, uh, we're going to get to that details in now. So a rainforest is like, like a forest, but rains very much and has a lot of water in it and it has three layers actually there are four but there are three main layers there is the emerging layer which is the very high the, and the top layer the canopy is the main the canopy which is where monkeys swing i mean this is where snakes and toucans call home and that where imagine layers are where monkeys swing oh and the understory is home where only guys who can't swing or fly live down there. Or even slide. Or climb. And also some, not all of them, all plants use sun and water and carbon dioxide to make food. Some of them just use insects to make food. And also after they eat an insect, uh, their exoskeleton is released. Ugh. And of course... And of course, there are some types of flowers, and this place, and this type of thing tells you the from the lowest to the highest point of drops of water in a place. And here's our, and here are monkeys hungry, and some eagles are strong enough to kill monkeys. And some people uh, are going into a jaguar, jaguar, um, a jaguar. Ja a jaguar fighters and Aztec fighters to get into the jaguar warriors or Aztec warriors you have to kill at least four enemies four enemies in one battle if you die during battle eh, good luck for bad luck for you if you do succeed that you can go in unless you already die when you are defeating your fourth enemy and jaguars are, have these spots just to blend in with their surroundings. I know that. And this is a spider, and one and one kind of this. And this spider was once found in a box of bananas in a supermarket. Weird. <laughs> and also, it, on two thousand ten, the Genius Book of World Records said that this Brazilian wandering spider. Was the venomous spider in the whole world? Instead of running away like all spiders do, they go up with they go up holding their holding their front legs and showing their abdomen and they're swaying their front legs at the, in the air, swaying them like they're boxing. And here's a python. Even the even pythons can kill a very big animal that is bigger than them, like an antelope or even a human. And leeches are like tiny worms that can eat that drink blood. Like vampires in stories, these are worm vampires. And also the best way to do it is to just to flick it out with the fingernail. But with others, they'll make it vomit, and the vomit will have blood and chemicals that can kill you. So be careful. And pinranas. And these pinranas are like fish, but if they're too hungry and they aren't fed properly, they might eat other fish. And they're meat eaters and plant eaters. The good thing is that you can keep them as pets, and you have, can eat them anything except electronics and anything that you can't let them eat. And here are four types of venoms that can get anything of this. One type of venom can destroy your brain system and the nervous system. One of them can even destroy the heart and muscles. Another one of them can even kill skin cells. And one of them just will let the victim bleed to death and also even drown into their own blood. Which is crazy. And from harmless to deadly, there's the praying mantis. A scrib python, a paralysis tick, a, a coastal python, and a fubble web spider. And actually, these may look like real crocodiles, but they're relatives of crocodiles. Well, because crocodiles don't look like these snouts on there, but still, 
They say they're man eaters. They even have proof that they when they cut open a one of these gharials, like the relative of crocodile, they saw jewelry in them, and that was the first evidence for they are man eaters. But they say that, but they found dead bodies in rivers, and they thought that they eat it, ate them with the jewelry. So that was some evidence for others, and these guys are called the、uh, monitoring lizard because. Look at it. Sometimes they look like they're monitoring stuff, which we don't know. And these are the jaguar people who look like jaguars. And some of these peoples of the Menta White Tribe moved to the city, but some just stayed to to get to get the old to go and do the old ways. And try to get old people to to get children who only got the old ways. And here's a balance wheel of the lightest lightest bird from here, this book, to another bigger bird. The moa extinct now, so you won't see it anymore. But the ostrich is in the middle scale, and the cassowary, well, the lightest bird from this scale. And the weird thing is that they lay green eggs. But you can't eat them. And here's a scorpion. And the weird thing is that some doctors ask their victims to bring the scorpions that they have that they got bitten with, and they just use it. And this type of bees thing looks like stinging, but still they're harmless and stingless bees. And here's a note from a Douglas from a writer named Douglas Ad, a very famous writer. So we want a planet that is only full of panda bears and pine trees. The loss of any species is going to make this planet colder and lonelier. Douglas Adams, writer, and almost all of their jungles are extinct, getting extinct. Not by meteor crashes, that might happen often, but by humans. They might be the biggest danger for for shrinking jungles. And about the author, he draw many stuff, and that he also became a toy designer for Hasbro Inc. If you know who ha- what Hasbro Inc. is, and he, when he was a kid, he spared every minute, every minute drawing spaceships, robots, and dinosaurs, and he also made books about natural history, and. He lives in a、uh, Cal. He lives in Southern California, a、uh, in a beautiful dry desert, far from the terrors of the tropics. That's the end of the story, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye, Shannon. Out.